hello guys welcome back with a new video in this video i am going to discuss about the seven major differences between arrow functions and regular functions in javascript before going to the differences let me explain why regular functions and arrow functions are different in javascript regular functions are available from the beginning of the javascript but the arrow functions they have introduced in the es6 version of the javascript let's dive into the code the regular function we can declare it in two ways one is the function declaration and function expression but the arrow function we can declare it in one way only that is the function expression only with the function keyword this is the function declaration approach and the second one is function expression we call both the functions in same way like and also here i want to mention i am using the quokka extension here you can see i am pointing out this will help you to execute the code on live so that's why I'm using this, this extension and let me show you how it will work. So anytime if you use the console.log that will execute that line and it will show you the output. So here uh, I'm trying to call the add function. Now add function I need to pass two arguments. So now you can see it is giving the output as five. This is the way of calling the function. And the same way we can call the multiply function as well. So in the console.log of multiply so here also we need to pass the arguments so now we can see the output as 12 so both the functions are same actually so you can call the function in the same way so then what is the difference between function declaration and function expression so now let me show you the difference so if you declare a function with function declaration you can call that function before declaration as well so you can let me show you let me call this function before its function declaration as well now you can see you are able to see the output before the function declaration as well because the function has a hoisting concept so that will make you available that function before its declaration as well and now let me execute this function before if you declare a function with function expression you are not able to call that function before its declaration because the value of multiply is undefined so it's not a function it is throwing another but if you declare it a variable with let then also it, so it, it will show you the different error you cannot access multiply before its initialization even the same will come up with the constant as well so here the hoisting concepts makes uh, everything for the function keyword there is a hoisting that's why the function is available in the function expression the multiply variable is not available before its declaration that's why it's throwing an error so this is the main difference between function declaration and function expression now let me show you the arrow functions in arrow functions you can declare the function only in one way that is function expression there is no declaration approach in the arrow function let me show you the above uh, multiply function let me, here with the arrow function so the main intention of arrow function is they just want to remove the function keyword to minimize the syntax this is the very less syntax if you compare with the arrow function with the normal functions now we can see i'm just using these bra braces and after that you know uh, instead of function keyword i am using the arrow here after that curly braces this is the uh, arrow function now it will accept two parameters right a comma b and it just returns a into b now if you want to call this arrow function it's also a expression approach so you cannot call this multiply function before its declaration that's why i'm calling it after declaration after expression declaration uh, so multiply of so because it's not executing because it's throwing an error here right that's why javascript won't execute the next line now you can see the multiply function is working you can see it here these are the differences that i'm going to explain in the current video now the first difference is let me rewrite this above function as an arrow function now 
but uh, the main difference here is you are going to use the arrow function instead of function keyword now we can also make this function uh, in one line by removing this return keyword and uh, And also, if there is a only one parameter in for that function, you just need to eliminate these braces as well. For example, let square function is there. You can see there is no need of this uh, parenthesis for that single variable. You can write it in one line only. So these are the syntax differences between arrow functions and regular functions now the second difference is there is no arguments object in the arrow functions now we can see the 5 is the output here you are getting right sometimes you might get a requirement that you need to write a function that should accept any number of arguments so for example here you know I am passing a uh, number of arguments like this now even you are passing the number of arguments like this right you are getting the same output like this here so in the browser if you see still you are able to see 5 only because it is taking the first two arguments as a comma b 2 plus 3 only so we need to write a function that should accept any number of arguments right at that times in the regular functions you can use argument object actually so let me uh, comment this and um, let me show you how the arguments object will be console.log of arguments now if you go and see in the browser right so you see this is the arguments object this is uh, this is array like object so you should not use all the methods like uh, for each reduce map these kind of methods you sh should not directly use it you need to convert that array like object into op arrays then you can use any methods now to convert uh, arguments into array right you need to use array dot from our spread operator to convert that into array I have converted this array like object into array so now we can directly use any methods to sum these all the arguments I am using the reduce method here the reduce method will takes two arguments I am just going to return those two arguments then it will give the sum of all the values now if I open the browser you are able to see the output the sum of all the values is 27 here now let me write a the same function as an arrow function now let's try to see the arguments object in the arrow function let me comment all the code and now we can see the same we are calling the add fu some function here if you see it here there is no arguments object in the arrow function so that's how it will be there is no arguments object in the arrow function you cannot use the arguments object so how can we resolve this situation right to overcome this situation we are going to use the spread operator the spread operator is a three dot operator that we are going to use it in arrow function that will give the all the values as array no need to convert into array it's a directly array you can use any methods on it so now the same way i am using the reduce method here instead of box i am using the values now you can see the same output here that's how the arrow function will work The third difference is there is no prototype object for arrow functions. In JavaScript, the prototype is an object that is associated with every functions and objects by default in the JavaScript. So to access the prototype of any function, just you need to use function name dot prototype, then you are able to access it. For regular functions, you can access it like directly with the function name. dot prototype so when you see it in the browser 
so you're able to see that constructor and whenever you open that uh, prototype right so you're able to see that methods which are available for that regular function so you can see the name of the function the number of parameters is the length actually so that's how for a regular function there is a prototype when you try to access the prototype of arrow function it returns as undefined let me show you how it will return now if you go to this console you're able to see that as undefined so there is no prototype object for arrow functions the fourth difference is the arrow functions cannot be invoked with a new keyword so let me show you an example here if i try to invoke the regular function with the new keyword it will return an object because it contains the constructor in the last difference you have already seen that whenever i try to access the prototype of it you're able to see that prototype right the prototype you're able to see the constructor so if any function that contains constructor you're able to instantiate with the new keyword but the arrow function doesn't have a prototype and it doesn't have a constructor so you're not able to instantiate with the new keyword then it will throw an error like this let me show up here now whenever i try to instantiate with the new keyword if the regular function then it will return an object that contains different properties like this so these are the properties you have already seen that right so this is an object now but when you try to instantiate the error function it will return as an error it will throw an error so you can see uncard type error arrow function is not a constructor that means there is no prototype object for the arrow functions and there is no constructor for the arrow functions that why you cannot be initialized with the new keyword in regular functions the value of this is always defined based on the execution context of that function based for example if you are calling that fun function in the global environment then the value of this will be window if you are calling the function with in the object then the value of this will be that object like that so let me show you an example then you can clearly understand how it will work so here i have declared a function uh, it's a regular function with the function keyword and i have declared arrow function let me call these two functions let me show you what is the value of this will be if you see it here the value of this will be window in both the cases because we are calling this function because we are calling this function in the global environment that means in the global context you are calling that's why the value of this will be uh, window in both the cases but if you use the strict mode in javascript the value of this in the regular function will be undefined but uh, in the arrow function it remains same we see it now so you can see in the regular function it is undefined but in the arrow function still remains same as window object that is the only one difference in the global context the second difference is for example you have an object called constant user so here i have declared two methods inside of it so this is the one is a regular function and another one is the arrow function now i just want to know what is the value of this inside this user object I'm trying to call both the methods user dot get name in regular function get name in arrow function now we can see whenever you are using the arrow function inside the object you need to take care of it because the value of this is always depends on the parent function context so here there is no parent function that's why it is taking the global context let me show you the value of this in both the cases now we can see in the regular function it is taking the value of this is the same object so if you see that this dot name is it is taking as this name but here if you see it in the this dot name right so now it is it is showing as empty because it is there is no value for that so it's trying to access from the window object if you see it here right both both the this values the regular and arrow function it will be in the regular function the value of this is that object and in the arrow function the value of this is pointing to the window object because there is no parent function to it the other difference is 
whenever you are trying to call a function with the call bind apply then the value of this won't be changed in the arrow function so we can call these functions in different way like by using call so here in the call right we can pass what is the value of this uh, you can so I am just setting you know with the name actually so so now I am just calling this function with the value of this is this object so now I am trying to call this arrow function as same now if you see the value of this is in the regular function it will change to this value but in the arrow function it won't change still it remains same as the window object so you cannot use the call bind apply methods on the arrow functions but in case of regular functions we can use it so the sixth difference is you cannot use the arrow functions as a generator functions so in javascript generator functions are it always starts with the asterisk keyword that means a star symbol before the function name so let me show you an example here with the function regular so this is the normal function whenever you put asterisk symbol before the regular function this is called a generator function but if you try to put this symbol before arrow function it will show you the syntax error let me show you you need to put the asterisk symbol before this one so now you can see right away you will get the error here this is the syntax error that's why you cannot use this arrow functions as a generators so this is the one difference the seventh difference is a regular function will allow the duplicate parameters in the function let me show you an example here I am writing a multiply function Now if I want to use the parameters I will use it like this a comma b comma c so but if I try to use with the same name what will happen let me show you what is the value of a so all the parameters are same let me show you what is the value now even though you are passing three values the value of a is 4 because it is taking the last value as a that's why even it's, it doesn't throw any error in case of regular functions but if you use the strict mode that will throw an error see it here duplicate parameters are not allowed in the this context so but in arrow function without strict mode also it won't allow you let me write a function constant now if you see in the console it will throw an error duplicate parameters are not allowed in this context because arrow functions doesn't allow you to add the duplicate parameters inside a arrow function these are the major differences between the arrow functions and regular functions in javascript if you give an answer with all these differences in the interview you definitely crack the interview thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video Please do subscribe. Thank you.